looked like he knew exactly where I was. He did. He and did. what I was up to and everything. This is a good find, Wes. This is fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I've never That's seen it. Nice work. I've never seen an attack jellyfish before no, in all my it's life. It's a Baroli. These guys do that. Amazing. Got a big mouth. And it's a great find. I saw you working him up. And I said, get, get me a jar. They went, got, got it for us. So. so great. That's terrific. Your, your regulator freeze up, too? Yeah. That it, at, came, that it came back? At 89 feet. Yeah. Yeah, mine froze up about 60 or 70. Yeah. There's a big, giant cave ledge down there. Beckoning me in, but... <laughs> My mouth. I feel like that character in a uh, Star Wars movie. <laughs> well, we got a great specimen of this dive. This is a uh, it's a it's a a special jellyfish called Varroli that actually eats other jellyfish. And during the dive, this jellyfish turned around and tried to bite Wes. Where did Wes go? There he is. <laughs> So this is a fantastic specimen. It, I, this is very successful first dive. And this guy was living right at the edge of this big this big iceberg. Absolutely wonderful, fantastic. Porter, look at this. Yeah. Cool. Really? He actually tried to bite me. I mean, he knew where my hand was, and I reached up, and it actually turned in a U yeah. and opened its mouth. I know, it's like, whoa, wait a minute, jellyfish don't supposed to do that. It was the best of times and it was the worst of times. <laughs> it was a good it was a good dive. We checked out the uh, life around this wonderful iceberg and we got our first jellyfish specimen, uh, oh, specimens. Uh, two terrific specimens, especially this one here. Hold that. That's the little guy I got there. We got a predatory jellyfish, which I am really excited about. Um, whenever we get him into the tank, we'll be able to feed him and watch him eat other jellyfish. So biologically, it was very successful. We got some terrific specimens, cold water, Antarctic creatures. But we had a lot of equipment problems. My regulator froze up about 10 minutes after the dive started at 70 feet. Yeah, mine did too. At depth, for some reason, when you get deep, they tend to just kind of go. I tried to... I took mine out for a while, switched over, it settled down, and then it got worse again and started free flowing. And uh, I just sort of try to wait it out, but you know. Did your pony bottle freeze too? No. Yeah. No. It'll be interesting because I did the. I was on the bottom with the pony bottle. Yeah. It, I wonder if it's because of more volume. You're you're doing more things with the primary regulator. It'll be interesting to see how Jill and Paul do with the rebreathers, yeah. which is a lot more efficient tool that shouldn't freeze under these conditions. Yep. I, can, I can always tell when mine's starting to go. It starts to go, yeah. and then suddenly a full-blown freeze-up. The uh, contours on the ice and the experience of diving along the face of the berg was really amazing. It was great. Good visibility. Beautiful. Beautiful blue ice. Um, what, a, what a great place. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the boat. Yeah, let's get warm, hey? Right, hey? Yeah. All set. All set? Yep. yep. Go. Yep. He is just fantastic. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can move it around like you were. Impressive jellyfish in there. 